HHO debunkers debunked. Number one, Stanley Myers technology was never proven to be fraud in the court of law. Stanley Myers business practice was called fraud in the court of law because Stanley Meyer failed to properly communicate to his investors that research and development is different than investing in the corporation where you get X amount of dollars back first quarter, X amount of dollars back in the second quarter and so on. Number 2. Stanley Meyer is not the poster child for HHO. Stanley Meyer did not start HHO. Stanley Meyer was an inventor that got publicity for his inventions and also Stanley Meyer did get a lot of notoriety for his water spark plug. Number 3. Some idiots briefly bring up the laws of thermodynamics, but fail to show where said laws would stop a water car from working. 1. Cars that use water as fuel is not a scam. 2. For my invention the X-Marine, a device that makes internal combustion engines use water as 100% fuel to be a perpetual motion machine. Three things need to be removed from it. A. There must be no input of fuel from the outside. There is a fuel. Water is consumed as fuel. B. The entire system must be sealed. What goes out the exhaust goes back into the fuel tank and then back into the carburetor and so on in perpetuity. C. On my system there is absolutely no means to recapture the exhaust from the tailpipe, condense cool and compress it, and return said exhaust to the fuel tank. Hence this is not a perpetual machine. Number 4. Water is a fuel, and the two gases acquired from water, hydrogen and oxygen combined is also a fuel. Not only is water a fuel and the two gases combined also called HHO a fuel, they are ranked among the top fuels, they are rocket fuel. Yes water and HHO is rocket fuel. Idiots on stupid TV shows and the internet say water and HHO gas is not a fuel. 1. In the aerospace textbook Rocket Power and Space Flight Copyright in 1957 by G. Harry Stinn, on page 62 HHO gas is clearly listed as a fuel slash rocket propellant. 2. In another aerospace textbook rocket propulsion elements the 4th edition, printed in 1976 on page 192 again HHO gas slash hydrogen and oxygen is clearly listed as rocket fuel. 3. The first aerospace book I made mention of was printed in 1957 one year before NASA was founded. But said book I am sure was required reading for many engineers slash rocket scientists at the time. 4. The second book was printed in 1976. It is the fourth edition. The same book is in its ninth edition now. My point being these are very old books, and this is very old information. Hence engineers like the jackasses we see on these TV shows should know this. 5. Under certain circumstances, water can be made to behave as a fuel, as with certain spark plugs. Number 5. Engineers and host of popular TV shows claim the combustion in the gasoline engine is complete. That is a very false statement. We know this because of the work of Tom Ogle and Charles Nelson Pog, who both tripled the mileage of a standard car by using gasoline vapors as fuel, instead of liquid gasoline. Both inventors prove that combustion is more complete in an internal combustion engine with vapor slash gas than sprayed slash injected liquid gasoline and air. So the addition of HHO gas into a standard gasoline or diesel engine will improve performance and make for more complete combustion. Number 6. If your gasoline or diesel car's combustion was so complete, how is it possible then for these two inventors to get triple the mileage from a standard gasoline or diesel engine car? 1. Tom Ogle made his large block V8 car go over 100 miles to 1 gallon of gasoline in 1978. 2. 
Charles Nelson Pot drove a 1932 Ford over 200 miles on a single gallon of gasoline in 1930s. Number 7, ignorant engineers and hosts of some TV shows are also saying that HHO generator sales people claim that HHO increases the temperature of combustion and also decreases the temperature of combustion, hence HHO is a scam. The truth is, if your car's combustion is too high HHO will reduce that temperature, if combustion is too low HHO will increase this temperature. And yes HHO can normalize the combustion process because it contains both oxygen and hydrogen, that will normalize the combustion of most internal combustion engines. Number 8, I only have one question pertaining to these TV engineers, and that is how can such ignorant people obtain a job where they get to educate the masses? But I already know the answer, it's painfully obvious they allowed somebody to Harvey Weinstein them, or Pill Cosby them, and this is how they got their TV job. Number 9, one of these TV engineers read a report he said came from NASA, that states the most efficient way to generate hydrogen for a car. 1. The truth is if he was a real engineer he would know that the methodology that he claimed NASA put out is not the most efficient way to generate hydrogen for an automobile. But after making his NASA statement on his TV show, he launches into a diatribe about how many hundreds of amperage it would take to actually make an automobile function. 2. The truth is, after choosing the absolute most inefficient means to make hydrogen for a car, the TV engineer slash host then scales up this inefficient apparatus, and then also scales up the ridiculous amount of amperage and wattage needed to make an automobile perform in the manner drivers are used to. And then his last argument, is simply it will not fit under the hood of the car. 3. The truth is a more efficient system for generating both hydrogen and oxygen, can fit easily under the hood of the car, and will also replace the fuel tank hence there is plenty of room where the fuel tank used to be, about 6 cubic feet. Number 10, finally, there are two things wrong with all the electrolyzers being sold today that produce HHO gas from water. 1. First they were all stolen originally from one man, Daniel Dingle a U.S. Navy educated Filipino, who invented a car, that uses water as fuel, in 1958. 2. And secondly, Daniel Dingle did not tell them how he efficiently made said electrolyzer work.